is me three months ago, one week into playing tennis and perhaps the worst server in all of the country. Well, I hate being bad at things, so this video has one mission. Get good at serving ASAP. We're waiting for it. Can't believe what was happening over there. And we tried to call the cops, let them know what's going on in the tennis court. It wasn't important enough for them to come out, but jeez. Alright, All right, beast. 100 serves. Alright, let's see what, what happens on serve number one. Oh, you love that. You, <laughs> you love gotta that. love that. That's a wrap for 32 for 100. I'm embarrassed. Shouldn't play the sport, but we're gonna get better. Keep grinding. Got a little smudge on the cam. Keep grinding is exactly what I did, except I wasn't getting any better. During this time, I also filmed my 1,000 backhands every day for a week, and I learned something pretty crucial during that video. Practicing without instruction is no bueno. After completing my thousand backhands video, I took my first lesson and quickly switched to the one-handed backhand. All that work went to waste. I didn't want this to happen again, so I decided to scratch this video for the meantime until I finally got a serve lesson. Huge shout out to Scott over at Gravity Tennis. Check out his YouTube channel for hooking us up with this sick serve lesson. Learned so much and it put me on the path to practice correctly. Scott taught us how to serve in five simple steps, the first being using this pitcher's motion where you keep the legs moving. He picked this up from the GOAT Roger Federer. As you can see, this is the first thing he does as he starts to warm up his serve. This was an absolute game changer and Scott made sure to emphasize that we stay loose and not try to hit it too hard. Next we worked on fully extending that toss arm. This helps two things. One, it helps you have a more consistent toss. And two, it helps you load your body more into that position you see all the great servers get into. This was kind of difficult at first, but once we got used to it, it was super helpful as well. Added the extension. Uh -huh. Now we're gonna add extension to the right arm. Uh -huh. Next thing we learned was to extend that right arm to get more spin or action on the ball. Uh -huh. Scott gave us this tip to think about Vince Carter's famous dunk in the dunk contest where he sticks his elbow in the rim. But he also said this would be controversial, so let us know in the comments if you think this tip would help. Next we learned to add some leg drive, which is where I think I could excel as I used to play basketball and formerly had close to a 40 inch vertical. <laughs> Jeez. We then put it all together by keeping that left foot planted. The next day me and Jake played a set and while I still double faulted a ton, my serves had me really encouraged. So encouraged in fact that right after the set, I started a new challenge. A thousand serves every day starts right now. We're going to start grinding after that serve lesson. Um, put into practice those things that we learned and like hopefully get better. My biggest takeaway these first couple days were how important sequence and rhythm were in serving. When my timing was on, I would hit 20, 25 straight in. But when my timing got off, I could hit 10 to 15 in a row that didn't even come close. I really needed to be diligent and focus on the sequence and not focus on trying to hit it super hard. I'm walking to my local Walgreens to get some Ziploc bags and some athletic tape because I have never felt soreness like this. Is this a bad idea? Yeah, yeah, probably. Am I still gonna hit a thousand serves a day this week? Absolutely. Ooh, guys, this is not gonna be fun. Ooh. Ice is on, we're gonna leave it on for about 30 minutes and trust me, we have an interesting day tomorrow. I'm having surgery in two and a half hours. It's pouring rain outside, as you can see, it's soaking, but I'm still here to get my thousand serves in.
Hey guys, <laughs> I just got out of surgery. My girlfriend Darby, is, she's here. She's gonna drive me home. <laughs> if I drove home right now, it would not be good. Anyways, I'm gonna keep serving. Tomorrow I'm gonna get back at it. No, you're not. And I hit a thousand. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to Winners Only, a thousand serves a day. I'm gonna be really good at serving by the end of this week. So I've definitely gotten better the past couple days, but I'm still not improving as quickly as I want to. And I think that's because I just come out here and like hit a thousand serves without any real practice plan. So last night I was thinking about it and decided to write out a specific practice plan that I'm gonna stick to the rest of this time. And I'll just explain it real quick. All right, first things first, the first hundred serves are like this. It's a warm up in this pitcher's motion. This kind of sets the tone for the rest of the day if my first hundred are using this drill. This sounds insane as I speak it, but for the next 400 serves, I focus on that second serve. 200 on one side, 200 on the other side. The next 250, just focus on the flat serve. Really pronate, again, not overdoing it, not swing too hard. Okay, so the plan for the last 250 is to treat it just like I would in a match. Start on one side, if I get it in, we move to the other side. If not, we move to that second serve, really, really focus on getting it in and focusing on not double faulting. That's the key, don't double fault. So guys, I did see a lot of improvement with this practice plan, but again, it was minimal. I was getting better, but not as quickly as I'd like. I was still super inconsistent. Each day I would come home and compare my serve to one of the greats, and I noticed a few themes. First, look at this coil on the toss. My body's nowhere near as coiled as Novak. Second, I open the face of the racket way too early and don't drag it near far enough behind my back. Lastly, I just don't think I'm exploding as well as I could and I'm not rotating my left arm out of the way. All right guys, it's early. We got a cold front blowing through outside. The wind is howling at like 30 miles an hour and it's 45 degrees. But we're gonna try to have some fun today. I'm gonna bring this radar out there. We're not sure how accurate it is, but it's gonna be fun to see a ballpark of how fast I'm serving it. Again, guys, no idea how accurate this thing is, but my first serve would live somewhere in the 85 to 95 mile an hour range. My second serve was somewhere in the 65 to 75 mile an hour range. I woke up this morning excited to see how far I'd come, but honestly, just ready to get this challenge over with. My plan was to head to the court and do my usual routine, except for the last 100, I would count to see if I improved on that 32 out of 100 number. Now clearly I got a lot better, but not as much as I'd expect given the time I put into this this week. There were a lot of times when I felt like my serve was at its best five minutes after the lesson, and I think that probably could be true. The thing that I'm learning with these challenges is there's nothing that can substitute good coaching and having an experienced eye watch your stroke. To no one's surprise, it's gonna take longer than a week to get a great serve, but I did get better. On this second 100, I got 68 out of 100, an improvement of 36 over the last time. While I'm not where I wanna be, this was still a nice improvement and I got to do a lot of something I love to do this week, which is play tennis. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content.